Based on an assessment of the current macroeconomic situation, we have decided to keep the policy rate under CRR unchanged. Accordingly, the repo rate stays at 8 percent and the CRR at 4.75 percent of net demand and time liabilities, NDTL, of scheduled banks. Consequently, the reverse repo rate under the liquidity adjustment facility, LAF, determined with a spread of 100 basis points below the repo rate, remains at 7 percent. Growth last year was 6.5 percent, down from 8.4 percent in the year before. Although more recent data suggest some pickup, the overall economic activity remains subdued. In order to assist inflationary expectations, we need to see the current growth rate in comparison to the trend growth rate. The Reserve Bank's estimates suggest that the post-crisis trend rate of growth, which was earlier estimated to be 8 percent, has dropped to 7.5 percent. This means that the current rate of growth is lower than the trend. In the April policy, we projected GDP growth of 7.3 percent on the assumption of a normal monsoon and improvement in industrial activity. Both these assumptions have not held. The monsoon has been deficient and uneven so far. Also, data on industrial production for April-May suggests that industrial activity remains weak. <laughs> 